The Imagineering, Technician, and Parks Experience teams have been hard at work on bringing new enhancements to Dinoland USA at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Our recent area of focus has been Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama, including Triceratops Spin. I approached Darren and Ryan with a proposal to refurbish this area because much of the land hasn't been touched since we either opened the park or opened the immediate attraction area for Primeval Whirl or Dinosaur. We all jumped at the chance to shine some new light at this forgotten area of the park. At MC Parks, we are always trying to plus our older areas and attractions. When referring to plussing an attractional land, we mean going back into an area that's outdated and doesn't fit with the current building style of the team, and refurbishing the area in question to bring it up to our current standards. This is a cornerstone part of the MC Parks build process. Nothing we work on is ever truly finished, as we're always growing and evolving as a server. I first built this area of Dinoland in 2015, and a lot has changed in the game in the six years since. It's incredible to go back to one of my first builds on the server and be able to add in new attractions and details all these years later. My personal favorite detail has been the addition of the overhead lights in the Dinorama area, as it was a detail previously thought to be impossible to pull off and not worth our effort for the team. Using newer technology to our advantage, creating those lights only takes a few minutes, and it's an impressive innovation to an area that we were first able to showcase in 2018 when we were working on Toy Story Land. Being able to work on Triceratops Spin has been on my personal to-do list for years now. My goal is for us to eventually have all the flat rides and spinners in all the parks up and running. Completing this attraction helps us cross an impressive milestone. Every flat ride and spinner on the Walt Disney World map is now open and operational. While more enhancements are going to eventually debut with these attractions over time by making them interactive, being able to have the kinetic energy in the land is a great first step towards this goal. Having the opportunity to refresh an area such as this section of Animal Kingdom is a real treat for the team and the guests on the server. We've gone in and added in massive additions to the land that we formerly deemed impossible. We've added in armor stand dinosaurs, massive pixel art for both attractions and the fossil fun games, introduced new ambient tech effects for the carnival games, and brought a bunch of new merchandise on the server. Dinoland USA is one of the most underrated areas of Walt Disney World, so being able to help create some of the new merchandise for the land has been an awesome project to work on. Working alongside other members of the Resource Pack and Pixel Artist team, we've been able to introduce some great new toys and merchandise to the server. This project is only our first step in bringing forward Disney's Animal Kingdom as a real, living, and breathing place on MC Parks. We look forward to more changes, additions, and updates to this park in the future. On Discord, we have public meetings every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. EST. This is your best way to find out about these changes and future additions to the parks before they go live. We enjoyed discussing this update over the past month with our frequent listeners and getting feedback for expansion and refurbishments that they'd like to see in the future. To stay up to date with projects we're working on, including additional enhancements to Disney's Animal Kingdom, join us at discord.gg mcparks.